But this is a real name, Sam. I know you're still mad at Mama, though. Take me a cracker barrel deer in your show. But, I mean, I couldn't say no. It was no, I'm mad at your mama for not bringing me none. <laughs> Miss Karen. <laughs> not bringing me no cracker barrel and making him miss my teaching. Ooh, she's the first one on. <laughs> I told her she wanted to watch. <laughs> He done called you out. This is your son that just <laughs> called you out, Karen. Hello, Linda. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Are you, know, <laughs> you know I can't turn down biscuit and gravy. Yeah, your mother knows the way to your heart. It would be the belly. I, uh, yeah. Uh, Lord, thank God you're merciful. <laughs> so, <laughs> Joshua, Darlene, hello y'all. Um, yeah, y'all may notice I ain't got my coffee cup. It's because my coffee maker broke. I have offered you Mountain Dew. Not happening. Just like that little pink stripe in your hair ain't happening? That is not happening either. Leslie has a price. Leslie will not do that. Last negotiations, we were at like two fifty, but I want a lightning bolt. You know, the higher the price, the more fancy it's going to be. That is not happening. <laughs> What's up, Jesse? Uh, where's Jesse? Uh, your your thing does not automatically scroll down for some reason. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I still don't see Jesse. Hello, Jesse. Huh. Hey. Well, folks. So, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at our church, we have a little conference. I don't know about little. That was a big conference. Well, it was awesome. It was awesome. Um. I didn't mean little the way you mean little. <laughs> Hello, Sharon. Um, <laughs> and it was think big. Mm -hmm. Talk big. Talk big. Talk. Yeah, think. Think big was Friday night. Talk, talk big, big was Saturday night. Saturday do noon. do big was Sunday. Yes. Okay. And, and we had show so, breaking service too. Right. Um, and. You know, pastor's awesome. Yes. The ministry sessions were awesome. People got healed. Um, the one of the ladies that had been healed at another service mm -hmm. of ours a couple weeks ago, um, she was able to, she had gone to the doctors and had the test or whatever, yeah. and a mass that had been huge, mm -hmm. uh, they couldn't even find it. So thank you, Jesus. Yes. And uh, she she was there Sunday and gave her testimony. Yeah. Um, so thank you, Jesus. Awesome, awesome things that the Lord is doing. Um, and. You know, this is something I talk about quite frequently. Our identity of who we are now. Yes. We are His righteousness. Yes. We are His children. We are sons. Yep. Here's the curious fact. Okay. In the Old Covenant, where mm -hmm. it mentioned sons of God, it is referring to the angels. Yep. Okay. In the New Covenant, mm -hmm. who's it referring to? Us. Exactly right. And I would say, firstly, I do believe that would include the angels. Yeah. Um, that now there's neither Jew nor Gentile nor Greek, and not the, not the obviously, not the angels that are in chains. 
not those right, angels, um, but the angels that stayed true to God. Mm-hmm. You know, I do believe now we are all sons. Yep. But a lot of people don't really recognize there was a switching with Jesus coming. He was the firstborn of many. Mm-hmm. He was the first one to be reborn in spirit mm-hmm. in such a manner. Now, all of us can share in that. The problem is we want to see the rebirth purely as really just, oh, you're just saved. You're going to heaven sometime. Everything about us, because the Holy Spirit resides in us, has changed. Mm -hmm. It is more than just simply, oh, I'm going to heaven. No, now I am a son of God. Because I am in Christ and he is in me. Now we are reborn in spirit. Mm -hmm. Because he put flesh to death. Yeah. Okay? His own flesh put to death, death, sin, sickness, all of that. Salvation, one step program. Mm-hmm. You accept Christ, you become a child of the living God. All things change. When we believe that. Yes. For too long it's been, the gospel has been diluted down into a separation between the spiritual and the physical. With the coming of Christ, with his resurrection, and there really never was, but there isn't. We are now spiritual beings. First and foremost, and the more that we look at that new reality, the new identity of who we really are, Mm -hmm. then the more we can walk in the things of God. Yes. What you guys say? It is more than our sins are washed in the blood and thrown in the sea of forgetfulness. Our very, well you say two words, our very DNA is now in the bloodline of Jesus. Come on! Come on! Therefore, we are entitled, entitled, I'll listen, we are entitled to the kingdom in all the benefits. It's, within the benefits, including healing, we ain't got to sit there like, oh, I just have a little small thing, I ain't going to bother God. No, we are entitled, and we ain't got to live with no problems. Amen. Especially because there, there is one main thing that is not redeemed, and that's persecution. Mm-hmm. Okay? And let's make that perfectly clear. Yeah. Will we undergo trials? Absolutely. Yes. Okay? I, and this is one thing that people that know their identity, that we are truly sons of God now. Mm-hmm. We get accused of promising a bed of rose gardens. I promise, I, do, I promise the bed of rose garden along with the thorns. <laughs> That's okay? Right. That's right. Even since my healing, even since I have walked in the power of the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. has trouble happened to me? You know that answer. Yeah. Okay. Um, in fact, it was December. Yeah. Of last year, my wife was in the hospital. Hi, Sister Becky. I'm being good. Okay. Now, did the Lord Jesus heal? The fact she even made it to our hospital is a miracle, by the way. Yeah. Okay. How about for that? That that was truly a miracle, and so. Yes, 
We are going to have things come at us, but by the Spirit mm -hmm. of the living God who resides in us, yes. no weapon formed against us will prosper. We need to get this idea that Satan, the devil, and all that stuff is more powerful than the Holy Spirit who is within us. We are His temple. Yes. Do you not think that He will, when we believe, defend His very own temple? Yes. You bet your bottom dollar. Mm -hmm. And that is why it is so pertinent to renew our minds. And as Pastor said this weekend, go ahead. Which, which one? There's so many revelations. Which one? Think big. Think big. Talk big. Talk big. Do big. Do big. And I'm telling you what, and this is something, and then now healing, I don't like those three things. Sometimes, when it comes to finances and things, I did. Yeah. Um, and Pastor, when was it? Friday? Kind of let a little thing out of the bag a little bit, but you know, right right now. That was, I think that was Sunday. That was Sunday morning, wasn't it? Um, I, I don't know. Anyhow, you're talking about <laughs> watch yourself. Anyhow, um, you know, I'm speaking that this movie or documentary or whatever yes. will be made. I'm speaking that the Holy Spirit will be in it mm -hmm. and that so many people come to realize who we are in Christ that a revival, a move of God there you go. will sweep there you go. the nation. You were fixed to correct me, weren't you? I was like, I was going to be like, bro, bro, that's like you and the word manifest. With a revival, something has to be dead. Yeah. Guess what? The body of Christ ain't dead. No. Nah. Now, sometimes we may be a little lethargic. Sometimes we might be a little sleepy. But rise up, body of Christ, because it ain't over. No. Far from it. We just getting started, bro. Amen. And we truly are. This is just, we haven't even scratched the surface yet on who we are as sons of God. Yes. And I love each and every one of Pastor's messages. Um, Get on there, watch them, share, share, and share. I got to say, Saturday, they were all great. Saturday may have been my favorite, especially the testimonies afterwards from um, the two ladies there at the end. Oh, yes. Yeah. That was... Personally, my favorite. They were all great. That one had a little extra of those two testimonies there at the end. Um, and there are so many scriptures that speak of us as sons of God, yeah. as children... I mean, you've got Romans 9, 6 through 8. you got 2 Corinthians chapter 6, um, Romans 8, which I've been going into Romans a lot on my teachings. I did Monday. Um, you've got John eleven fifty two, mm -hmm. And not for the nation only, but in order that he might also gather together into one the children of God. But as, and then John 1, 12 through 13. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, mm -hmm. even to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, yes. nor of the will of man, but of God. Amen. 
Jesus was the firstborn of many. Yes. That's why I despise when somebody says, oh, you're only human. Guys, guys. That's about 25. No, I did not shatter it. <laughs> you thought I forgot about that. It was under the table. <laughs> This is the last. This table will just continue. You break this way and get a new one. Jesus was the firstborn of many. Yes. Because his spirit resides in us. Notice. His spirit resides in us. Yep. Therefore, all the things he can do, plus more, mm-hmm. we can do because he is at the Father's right hand yes. and His Spirit is within us. Yes. Now, some people can take this to a far-fetched place. <clears throat> it's happened in the... It happens to where, you know, you're declaring to be God. No. We're sons. Yes. We are children. We're in the bloodline. <laughs> We've got his DNA. That is our inheritance. Okay? So it is important not to step out of our bounds, of which I'm very leery about. Are we gods of this world? Yes, because we're sons and daughters of God. And so, but, we need to be in our mind by the renewing. Mm -hmm. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind Mm -hmm. of who we really are. And that's the only thing that is stopping so many people is we still have physical reality stuck Mm-hmm. We need to get unstuck from that and join the spiritual truth yes. of who we really are in Christ. Yes. And then we'll see even more amazing things that will happen. Mm-hmm. But part of the problem is we are so brainwashed. Yes, things come at us. Yes, if if we are not more sensitive to the Spirit of God than we are to man, then guess what? We can lose focus. We can have things come at us. Yep. Because now we're forgetting who we are in Christ. Mm -hmm. (laughs) This is not a list of two do's, but it is a relationship. Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. So, if we are not in relationship with Christ and constantly renew that relationship, then that's when we can get into trouble. And that is why, once again, this ain't about a to-do list. No. And I'm not saying if you don't read your Bible every day. <laughs> Hello, Mercates. He actually kind of said it all right. That's pertinent. Give me that. He said it good in his hillbilly type of fashion. Pertinent. You want to talk about things coming at you? Like, I'm not knocking doctors, lab technicians, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but like, over the past little while, when you, I make these deliveries to these people, and all they're talking about is this and all the negative stuff going on. I'll admit, it was getting to me a little bit. Well, you made the claim that me and Pastor are running. I was going to say, did this, this weekend happen? And now I keep my mouth shut no more. I'm kind of telling them what I think. I'm saying that the Holy Spirit just got stirred up inside of you. Hello, Pastor Bill. How are you, sir? <laughs> that boldness of the Holy Spirit just come on you, boy. 
I mean, I, I, told this, I told this one guy straight up, I was like, I make a delivery to a college every day. And I was like, so, where's your science going to be a couple weeks after school starts and everything's fine? What's going to be your excuse then? That's all I said. <laughs> Tony's <laughs> rubbing off on me, going to get me in trouble. <laughs> hey, I, I, it felt right. I'll let you roll with it. It felt right. Roll with it. I'm in your corner. <laughs> Come on, brother. <laughs> Master Bill. Um, we were, you better straighten up now, Tony. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm going to let you keep running your mouth. I'm good. By how Pastor Bill got you in trouble at work. No, I uh, said uh, you... And, and then that was real there too. Alright. But you were the one that hit me on the forehead three times. Trying to make it for the past three weeks where you forgot to do that. But, really <laughs> folks, the thing is, we have been brainwashed since yep. we've been little kids with a couple of things. Yep. And one thing is this body has to break down. No, no. Say that again? No, it don't. Are you for sure? Yes. Are you for really yes. real? Can you show me that? Not really, because I don't go to doctors no more. <laughs> <laughs> there, I win. <laughs> yes, things come at us. Yeah. And negative talk is probably the worst and the one you don't see coming the most, in my opinion. And so, the more relationship, the more we constantly have relationship and are aware of Holy Spirit's presence in us, then the more we speak big, Think big yep. and do big yep. to steal from pastors' weekend. Um, Never go steal from it, let's steal from it. Remember, you gotta speak it. Not just necessarily think, speak it. Like the many examples I was given Saturday in speaking. Yes. Because one, there's a lot of reasons to speak it out. Yep. Okay. And a lot of it is so it gets out in the atmosphere. Yep. That's one reason. Another reason is because when you speak it, you hear it, mm -hmm. you gain the confidence from it as will other people. Yep. And so, you know, when, like in my instance, when I pray for people, and I tell them, pick up the hammer. You can because you are healed. Yep. And the person does it. The spoken word releases mm -hmm. a lot of things. And... You know, and so does praise. Yes. And I said that because Pastor Bill said praise. Gratitude is the attitude. Yep. Because you're not in gratitude for something that you're waiting on. Mm -hmm. You're grateful when something has been done. Yes. So when you are praising through it, it is getting settled that it's already happened yes. inside of you. That's getting settled, and then that's when you see the fruit of it. And, you know, of course there's a lot of, shall I say it, churchy words that I dislike. <laughs> You kind of made a few of those clear last night in your private teaching. Did I? 
Oh yeah, one of them is the word manifest. <laughs> I dislike the word manifest. Why? Because our mindset should be it's already happened. The spiritual truth is greater than the physical reality. Yes. I am not waiting on a manifestation. Who who was it at church not too long ago? He was like, I just started thanking God because I was getting some mobility in my arm, and next thing I know, my hands held up high the whole through, through the whole yeah. song. Brother Jerry. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Brother Jerry, you know. Um, There, there, there's a couple of different reasons, plus so many words that us churchy, well, I can't count myself because I don't use them words. <laughs> uh, but they're undefined so many times. <laughs> they mean one thing to one person and ten other things to somebody else. Yeah. And that's why I totally redefine all the words. And that's just me. The, the language of Tony. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> and you don't even need a dictionary to figure it out. Hey, now here's the truth. Now, I don't have this problem at our church. But at other churches I've been through... I almost need an encyclopedia to figure out what people are trying to say. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, bro. I kid you not. Here's the book of Christianese. <laughs> one by one. No, wait a minute. Maybe that will be my next book. Christianese, one by one. All right. Speaking of this book's on sale, right? Yes. The second edition. Yeah. Ebook is. Uh, so, you know, the, these words that we use, when you're witnessing somebody else, forget them words. You know, us former atheists are still trying to learn them words. Jeez. Sometimes I gotta go... <laughs> I actually knew a guy, every time he, you know, he talked about as plain as I do, you know, the correct way, but every time he got up to preach, this was way before I even knew Pastor Bill, every time he got behind the altar, he went to straight Bible talk only. I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. always Pastor Bill, I can follow. Yeah, because Pastor Bill's awesome. And I still make fun of him, though. I don't. Anyhow, <laughs> either he's open to that one, bro. This vlog is really. It is about renewing. Of the mind. Be ye yeah. transformed by the renewing of your mind. You should not have the same thoughts that you had before. No. And yet, when it comes to healing and when it comes to sickness, we talk the same way, and the majority of people of Christians talk the same way. We shouldn't be. No. You feel the cold coming on? It shouldn't be I feel the cold coming on. It's in the name of Jesus. I yes. am healthy. I am whole. Yes. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes. And move on. That's the way it should be. You hush. Be. I didn't say a word. Try to get me in trouble. You threw yourself under that bus, bro. <laughs> it is being transformed. 
is not looking at sickness being normal anymore for a child of God. It is getting a completely different mindset. Yes. A heavenly mindset, if you will. Because we have the mind of Christ. What? I was just thinking, how many times the Bible does it say, like, on earth as it is in heaven? Exactly. Exactly right. We are, by our words, so much happens. That's such a powerful thing, and it's because the Holy Spirit's in us speaking through us, mm -hmm. to us, with us. <clears throat> and it's by Him the transformation happens, but it's by changing our mind about it. Hey, what's going on, Bradley? Hello, Bradley. I don't know why that ain't popping up on your screen like that. I don't know. Um... But the more aware you are of the Holy Spirit always in you, yes. then the more active the flow of the Holy Spirit. And so when we're when we are doing our jobs, when we're in the real world, then the Holy Spirit should be flowing through us. Mm -hmm to anyone we talk to. Yep. And so that's part of the renewing of the mind. Take it outside the four walls. Yep. You know? That's a bloody. <laughs> outside the four walls. Okay. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Good one. She got that a little bigger. That's all right. It works. You know, it's the sedgehammers. Uh, so, that's, I mean, that's the biggest thing I've been talking about lately. We are His righteousness. Since we are His righteousness, we are sons of God. We have the Holy Spirit in us. Christ in us. Mm -hmm. he, he's in us. We're in Him. And that is how this whole thing happens. We're born again in the Spirit. Yes. I ain't even got my coffee today, Pastor Bill. My, as soon as we're done here... I'm running to Walmart and getting me a coffee maker. <laughs> I didn't... Uh, and tonight was going to be the night I asked you for a cup of coffee. Darn. It's still a sin to lie. <laughs> so, don't try that one. <laughs> I offered you Mountain Dew, bro. It pep you up just like that coffee does. The caffeine does not affect me. I don't drink the coffee for the caffeine. Thank you very much. Am I just as hyper as always? Yes. All right. I don't drink for the caffeine. I drink it because I love my coffee. Jeez. Yes. Coffee makers do not last me over... What's the world record for Tony's coffee maker? A year and a half. Is that good? I, I don't know. Considering I use it 2407, my coffee makers never turn off. Now that I believe. <laughs> <laughs> when you've been, I know you ain't noticed, but when you've been in the house, if you notice, there's always coffee. And that green light stays on. You could probably smell coffee a mile away from your house. Yes. Two miles of the wind blow. Yes. 
I've had truckers show up with their coffee mugs. <laughs> hey, Andy. Hello. What's it? That is what I do. It's what I do. Alright. So. Don't think the same way. No. And my gosh, and CJ knows this. Somebody, somebody tells me I'm only human. You gonna get hit upside the head with a sledgehammer? I jump on. No, I'm not. I am a spiritual being. I am a son of God. I am not only human. I've been reborn. Yep. Thank you very much. But that is how we should all feel. And once again, I'm not giving you, I'm giving you a rose garden, but a rose garden that has thorns. I'm not saying everything in your life is going to run smoothly because it's a constant renewing of the mind. Yep. So therefore, are there struggles? Yes. There are. But guess what? We are more than conquerors. Yep. Because we're more than overcomers. Yep. Because we ain't the one that fought the war. Jesus did. And he won. Mm -hmm. And so now, with the renewing of our mind to be conformed to the Spirit of God, to the Kingdom of God, not to the earthly realm, but to God's Kingdom, in whom we are citizens of. We're no longer waiting for citizenship. We have our citizenship, and the, and the King's stamp is the Holy Spirit in us. I thought we were ambassadors. We're ambassadors, we're citizens, we're kings, we're priests. We're all those things. Okay. See, Pastor Bill said ambassadors, so I, I, I listen. We are ambassadors. <laughs> Absolutely. I didn't do that to you, bro. Come on now. Who wants me to knock CJ on the head? Look, Pastor's hands, the first one up. I was say, how many, how many times do you want to go today? It's been at least twice already. You say I've got three times to make up for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So y'all, today that's what the Lord's impressed on my heart. Yep. Get to know who you really are in Christ. Yes. And the more we know who we really are, then the less things can affect us. Yes. Amen to that. Once again, I'm not telling you it's going to be all sugar and ponytails. Okay? We have rough times. Now y'all churchy people put it, Pastor Bill. <laughs> the, the, the desert times. I'm in the desert now. Ain't that how it's going to I'm not touching that one. I ain't touching that one. Mm -hmm. oh. The times of trial are like desert times, right? I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning that Christianese. Uh, don't hate hey, don't don't Christianese. I like that verse. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making this appeal, his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. 2 Corinthians 5.20 Amen. Thank you, Eric. Hello, Pam. I'm, I don't know what part you need to hear, but I'm glad you heard it all. Uh, Did you read Christine's above Eric's letter?
<laughs> the problem is when they make when they process coffee that's decaf, the flavor goes with it. <laughs> so but I appreciate the fact you thought of me, Christine. <laughs> Thank you for that thought. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> And so, this life is us maturing. Yes. This life is about us maturing into the full stature of Christ. Yes. And so, and I do believe we as a body can get there. I was trying to be nice, Linda. I don't drink coffee, so I, I don't know. You will one day. Maybe, so, maybe a frappuccino, but that's not it. Oh, so you do drink frappuccino? I've had one. Oh. Anyhow, who needs prayer today? Anyone? I want to speak a peaceful or a sound, peaceful mind and joy. Because people need joy right now. Amen. Y'all, we were not given the spirit of fear. No. Reject, deject, swoosh it through the basketball net, be done with it. We have the choice. We are children of God, the Heavenly Father. Could you speak on my friend Calvin and speak on my just... <coughs> In Jesus' name right now, speak over Calvin. Yes. One, I speak a sound mind, a sound body in Jesus' name. I speak an open heart to the things of God and Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete healing yes. right now. Lungs breathe normally. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. I speak light yes. to Kelvin's body right now. Thank you, Jesus, and an open heart. The peace of the Holy Spirit fill their lives now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm also a firm believer in this. A lot of times people are Christians before they ever confess to it. And I would say that was true in my case as well. So, you'll enjoy that one. Okay. I absolutely think we push people away. Now, Pastor don't, because... He's awesome. He, he talks normally, most time, except when we're in church. But even then, he's understandable. But, yes, the way some people talk churchy, and I've heard it, and I'm like, and I'll just tell a person straight up, I know English. I don't know Christianese. Yeah. Um, I think, I really think people want to be approached in a conversation like we have with y'all. They don't want to hear, yay, though, shall not <coughs> cross the blue line, I don't know. And they, I, want, they want a conversation like we're right, we have. Exactly. And, a lot of them, look, unless the Holy Spirit specifically tells me to, I don't throw a lot of scriptures at people. No, you don't. 
I'm speaking the truth by not just in them with scripture, scripture, scripture and all this stuff. The Holy Spirit reached me where I was at. And that's what he reaches people where they're at. Yep. Now, if they bring up a scripture or what have you, mm -hmm. then I go with it. Yeah. But, you know, it's the Holy Spirit that moves people to himself. Okay? So I don't have to feel the pressure of pulling someone in and making them do the sinner's prayer right then and there. <laughs> Say no! Okay. Uh, that's my job is to be a witness. Yes. Not to pressure someone or anything like that. And so, if I have any church, churchy talk in me at all, it stays at the church. I don't know if human pastor rubbed off on me. I don't think y'all have yet, but y'all working on it. <laughs> Is being ourselves and the more we realize the Holy Spirit's in us, the more we communicate, i.e. pray, mm -hmm. communication with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus, with the Heavenly Father, then the more that naturally flows out of us without us having to use a language someone else mm -hmm. cannot decipher. Um, I never knew that kind of talk. And yes, it would tick me off. Do you think you're holier now? You reinvent the English language or what? There, there's probably a very small percentage of people that actually probably want or feel they need to hear a specific Bible verse in a prayer. But at that rare time, what, what, you, what you need is going to come out through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Awesome. Bradley had that one right there. Oh, yeah. In Jesus' name, right now I speak peace. Yes. I speak the joy of the Lord yes. into Colin and his whole family. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Any more prayers? I'm not seeing any. Pastor Bill Chapman says, Be real! Just be real. They says, let the Holy Spirit be real in us. Amen. We need to get him back on for another show. He's not seen the room. Yes. When you're available, Pastor. Alright, well, I love y'all. Okay, what's the mean? Sharon, in Jesus' name, I speak peace. I speak joy. Yes. I speak restoration. Thank you, Jesus. That's a word I don't often use. That's why I was like, but restoration in Jesus' name. Yes. God bless you, Kevin. Yes. Okay. This is weird. Okay. All right. I like weird. Come on. I'm just. Uh, uh, Holy Spirit, help me out. Okay, so. I'm just going to spit, spit this out. Something is milky. Milky, it's, it's not clear. And I don't, I don't know. Okay? 
something is milky, it's not clear, and in Jesus' name I speak that it is cleared, and that all infection be gone. Okay. I have no clue. Okay, so I'm just that's what I just was seeing. So, also, thanks to Diana for all the help with my website. Love Diana. Um, I want to mention this real quick. If the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to donate to my ministry, go to my website, TonyBelieves.com, and donate. Um, yes, right there. And we are not, I'm not a 5013C at the present time. Your help is appreciated. Thank you very much. God bless each and every one of you. You got anything? Nothing we're good, bro. Oh. Well, we said the second edition is on sale. Yes. Second edition on sale. Through Thursday. Through the third. Through the third. So, and then I think it's DIY will be on sale. July the 4th is the 8th anniversary of my healing. Yep. And then my wife's birthday is on the 7th. And so I'm continuing the sale in Jesus' name. So God bless each and every one of you. Love y'all. Be blessed, be healed, and be.